Hello, welcome to my vlog. Um, so I actually filmed the last three days with Sara, but it's gonna go on our work account, like the Get Styles account, so I'll leave a link there. But I have been in Copenhagen for, yeah, three days now. Um, but now I'm on my own and I'm gonna do some influencer stuff, which is kind of weird. Um, but anyway, yeah, now I'm on my own. I'm just packing my bag. I really need to get a taxi and I'm actually in a massive rush. This is my new jacket and hat. Space alien vibes. Um, I ripped my other jacket so I had to leave it into the tailors. So I just ran into the second hand shop that was beside it because I only had one jacket with me. And I saw this gem for like 30 quid. <laughs> So, yeah. Also, I'm borrowing this Prada bag from a retro tail. I just feel like such a baller. Uh, okay. Um, oh. Sorry, I'm going to a different hotel. That's what I'm doing. I was like, yeah, I'm going to bike. And then I was like, Ronnie, you're an idiot. Like, you have all of your stuff. Stupid. Um, okay, do I have everything? I am so good at fucking wrecking hotel rooms. Everywhere I go, I'm like a fucking tornado of messiness and chaos. Okay. I brought so much stuff for one week. This is actually kind of embarrassing. Oh my God. Anyway, there's actually Fuck all taxis in Copenhagen. There's no Uber, which is great because everybody just bikes everywhere. Um, but in a situation where one has luggage, oh, that's all my stuff. Stay in a hotel tonight and I think maybe go to dinner tonight and then I'm just gonna go back to Sweden tomorrow. Um, so it was like the first three days were for styles and then now I'm like doing my own thing today and then tomorrow I'll just work online from Copenhagen. So I'm just gonna go to my favorite cafe and chill. Um, <clears throat> we have a lot of meetings with like influencers <clears throat> um, uh, and some like small sustainable brands that we're gonna work with for this um, fair thing that we're doing. Um, so if there is someone interesting that I meet at this event, influencer wise, that I feel I could be good for styles, maybe I'll take them for a little coffee tomorrow. So I could have a meeting tomorrow, maybe. <clears throat> and I was also gonna visit this location for styles. Um, so maybe I'll do that tomorrow as well. But anyway, today is just second hand dance, doing our thing. Um, but yeah, I'm staying at a really nice hotel, which is very nice. Our last hotel, the first room we had, like the beds were literally like that size. And then I had to switch rooms when Sarah left and then it was nice, I had a big double bed. I had the best sleep ever last night. But it's just nice because when I used to come to Copenhagen like for little trips from Lund, I would always stay in a hostel. Um, it would be like 20 euro a night or something. If it was like fashion week or, um, I don't know, I just really wanted to come for a weekend. This is when I worked here but commuted over and back. Um, and I just always remember thinking the luxury of staying in a hotel compared to a hostel. Like sleeping in a room with other people. It didn't bother me at the time at all. But I just remember thinking, oh my god, it must be so nice to stay in hotels. So I'm feeling very bloody appreciated. Then on, f yeah, so tomorrow I'll go back to Stockholm and there's this um, Kaya Cosmetics party. Kaya Com Cosmetics is the one that Bianca and Grosso owns. And I didn't get invited. And then Engla invited Sara as her plus one because I was going to stay in Copenhagen the whole weekend. Um, and I think she only had plus one anyway. Um, so I just DM'd them. And I was like, hi, can I come to your thing? And um, they didn't respond for ages. I was like, oh, awkward. I was like, whatever. And then they responded and they were like, yeah, of course. I was like, okay. <laughs> um, so that's a party on tomorrow night. Um, and we're gonna do some nice pre-drinks with uh, our friends Olivia and Salma. So that's fun. And then I have the weekend. So I've had a very, very luxurious week. Very fun week working as well, meeting so many people. Um, we, yeah, we did repeat ourselves a lot. I feel like I was kind of giving the same like pitch in a way to a lot of different influencers, like again and again. <clears throat> but 
I mean, I've given that spiel about styles like a hundred million times. I could do it a hundred million times over. I love giving it, to be fair, to new people because they get so excited. And then they like, I can see them playing around on the app and stuff, so that's really nice. Um, but yeah, I love my new hat so dearly. Now it does itch my head like all my other hats do. Um, I'm going to have to figure out, maybe there's something you can like, put on a hat to make it not itchy. Or maybe uh, my skin is just not able. Okay, I knew this hotel was going to be nice, but this hotel is on crack. I have my own study. <laughs> I actually just recently discovered this is where Barack Obama stayed when he came to Copenhagen. A PR agency is paying for this, so I'm going to enjoy it. Wow. Wow, yeah, it's kind of crazy. And then there was pajamas on my bed. There you go. Yeah, I don't know, I feel guilty with such luxury, but whatever. Anyway, so I'm going to change my outfit slightly. I'll just put on this shirt. Um, just because I think people might be a bit more dressed up than I am. I think I'm gonna keep the hat on. It's kind of just a vibe. Or should I change into a t-shirt? I just don't want to be really underdressed because I feel like it's kind of disrespectful if they're bringing me to all this cool stuff, you know? I think that's fine. Yeah, I mean, it could be better. But... Just got back from that. Uh, that wasn't the event. We're going to the event later, but we just went and viewed this um, very nice collection. It was very nice. And then I tried to buy, oh, oh, poor me. I, you know the Clark's moccasins? They don't look like those, but I'm just showing you what shoes look like. And they're really big in Denmark, but not really anywhere else. And saw them in the department store and I was like, fucking finally. Cause I would never go into a department store. So I never even thought, oh yeah, of course they'll be in that kind of shop. Anyway, so I queue up for ages to find the size and she's like, we have none left. And I was just thinking of all of these outfits. I've wanted them for so, so, so long. And I actually bought a pair of shoes recently that I'm gonna return because I wanted like new flat shoes and I haven't been able to find any second hand. So I was gonna return those and get these and now I couldn't get them. So sad. I was excited because I haven't seen anywhere wear them in Stockholm. So I wanted to be First on the trend, you know, start my own trend. Um, now I'm going to have a little snacky snack. Um, and then I'm going to join the other Swedish girls for a drink before we go to the dinner. Also, I'm thinking, why don't I have a bath tonight and read my book and maybe have a glass of wine? How extravagant. Now, what little things am I going to? Mm, these aren't really my... Favorite snacks. Mm. Yeah, not really my fave. But maybe I'll just have a little drinky wink. I'm supposed to be getting ready right now, but I just need to sit down. Uh, cola zero. Again today, no street style. I just, I suppose I didn't have the time today, but I never know how to use these. Street style, yeah. Uh, hopefully tomorrow I can do some. It's just the weather's been shit and I've been kind of running around. And usually I see people, even if I'm running around, I see people on route. But yeah, just with the, the rain and stuff. Hello! Uh, <laughs> um, or should I down this? Down it. Is that necessary? Yes. You're in Copenhagen. You love that too. I've drank barely anything. Like, have you tell me have it? I actually have a thumb double. So you know when the afterlines come up and you're like, ooh, la la la. Thumb then, double. Yeah. It's not my fucking hand. <laughs> 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 
And he was looking at my hands, and I was like, and I was like, and you know, you're joking now. And I was like, oh my god, sir, I'm so sorry. Obviously, as like you know, Harrods working there. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Is something the matter? And he just looked at my hand, and he just went, oh, oh, um, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry, madam. I'm. I thought you cut your thumb off. Oh it's all together. Cool. Last okay. orders. Okay. Yeah. Do you want yeah. something more? We're going to go back to the champagne bar. We're going to get a couple of drinks and charge them to the room. You got? I think we slayed at the bar with the bartender. I think we already slayed. I think we've slayed all day. Okay, I just got back to the hotel. I didn't show this. Sorry, I'm out of breath because I've just been running around jumping on the couch. Oh my god. But basically, they folded all of my stuff. So I had a bag of stuff. Oh, it did not look amazing. But, um, I threw all my stuff on the bed, obs. Looks like a messy biatch. And they folded all of my stuff. Even like my gross, smelly, fake tan tank top. So, I'm gonna order my breakfast for tomorrow. Healthy choice? No. I really want, like, bacon. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Jesus. This is what I look like. It's unfortunate. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah. Do you have a pen? Oh, it's yeah. Room two. Two twenty. <laughs> Scramble egg with bell pepper and pork sausage and bacon. Perfect. Yes. And this ketchup. Amazing. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you, man. Thank you. Have a lovely day. You too. Have a good day. <laughs> okay, I'll show you what I got. I'm gonna put it in the sandwich. So I got sausages, bacon, scrambled egg, bell pepper, and then I got some toasty toast. A latte. Oh, this is so nice. Actually, yesterday I, I was in Madrid. I, I welcomed the commissioner responsible for the budget, for the European budget. I'm checking out. This is zoomed in. Oh, yes. I really like my uh, travel fit, mainly this hat. Oh, I'm just wearing black jeans, black jumper my gorgy bag that I'm borrowing, that I'm considering buying after, and um, my brown bag. But I just feel super cool. Do you see what I mean? I just feel like it's a solid travel outfit. Okay, I just got home, and I'm getting ready for this do. My hair is so greasy, so, um, and also this dress doesn't really fit me very well. I really want it to be tight like that. I'm gonna see does I'm gonna have any um, safety pins. Um, but yeah, I really want to do a slick back because my hair is greasy, but I can't find my slick back brush. So I'm just going to keep looking for that. And then I'm going to pre drinks in English. Um, I need to hurry. I'm just gonna show a little trick that's very sneaky. I don't know where I learned, oh I think Kim K does it, I think that's where I got it from. But basically when I do my hair in a slick back, um, I have really damaged hair because of how much I straighten it. So you can see I full on have like bald, they're not bald patches, they're just like, it's sparse around here. So I just get eyeshadow and a little brush and I fill it in because when I do a slick back you can obviously see like my hairline really well. So I just basically, now it's easy when you're a brunette. Obviously, I don't know how it would work if... Yeah, I presume you can't do it if you want. But, um... It just makes your hair look... Your hairline look thicker. And, like, most of the time I wouldn't do this. I'd say I'd do it, like, one out of ten times. Just if I notice, like, it looks a bit crap. But, or if I'm uh, going out. Like, if I can be bothered. But, like, I wouldn't be doing this in the morning before work. And, like, it doesn't even really matter if the colour is exactly like I'm using black. My hair is definitely not black. Um... Yeah, I wasn't in the mood to go out when I was on the train home, but now I actually am. 
I had such a good night last night. It was fucking hilarious. Um, that girl Alicia, I'd met her at a couple of events before, um, and she lived in Ireland for two years. Um, because she's an actress, so she was shooting there for two years. So I remember when we met, she was just like really excited to meet me because I'm Irish. I'm like, I never really get that from Swedes. Swedes don't really give a fuck about the Irish thing. They love English. Like they love the English accent, English culture, especially like posh English vibes. My friend Sophie always gets Swedes like drooling over her accent. But yeah, the Irish thing, it's not really... Um, yeah, nobody gives a fuck here. So I remember meeting her at an event and she was like, oh my God, you're Irish. I was like, yeah. Um, and we got on and then when I was in Copenhagen, she texted me. She's like, oh my God, are you on this trip as well? And I was like, yes, nice. Um, and then we ended up spending like all our time together, which was really fun. Oh, I feel so ugly and gross. Hopefully I have better in like 10 minutes. Okay, this is the vibe. I like it. I wish this dress was tighter. Um, I feel very 70s and cool. Nice. One minute. Okay, I'm gonna go. Yeah. My first complaint is that I feel super stressed. I don't know why, but I feel super stressed about the things happening outside of work. So that on work, it's hard to like not be stressed for this work because I'm super stressed about the things happening outside of work. Then I'm so tired. I don't know why. I, I'm so fucking tired. And then also yesterday, I thought that Kelle was going to sleep with me. And then he kind of bailed at like 11. Oh. It was because I was with Natty and then he was at home. And I really wanted to sleep, sleep with someone because I felt like... When at 11 and then it was like, well, it's so lit and I thought, okay, bye then. And then I woke up this morning and had the same feeling in my body and now the feeling is still there. And also one thing about work is that Norwegian influencers has like another, they don't have companies. So I don't know how to do the influencers. How they're going to get paid, yeah. give their personal number. Thank you. Okay, well done. You had nine seconds left. Perfect. Oh, then I get to take those. <laughs> <laughs> no, we all get one minute. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna start. Wait, go. Oh. First of all, I have a due to infection in my stomach. Punani. Punani. And I have fever and I, God. every time I pee, I cry. And I drank all this time, I had to pee all the time. And I also feel like I'm going to throw up now because I took it in the PM and it's stuck in my throat. So then I go. <laughs> All the time. Yeah. <laughs> 30, 30 seconds. So, I, I think you get burning up. Because I, You're think a fever. I have a fever of like 57 degrees. Oh, wow. No, I'm not yeah. I'm kidding. I probably yeah. have like 37.5. Yeah. But still, yeah. did it do it? Is that it? Oh, you have 18 oh, more oh, seconds six. of complaints. Come okay. On. And then other things. I uh, I kind of miss my boyfriend or ex boyfriend, which yeah. is pretty annoying. Yeah. Just, oh. yeah. But yeah. Yeah. That's what, that was actually my... Opinion. Okay. I, I feel like you're in a good mood today. I know. <laughs> but I still feel like you have some things to about. Just uh, after this long discussion. Could you zoom in? Discussion. Wait, I'm just going to look at something. I just could complain all day. Um, maybe I'll just go and yeah. mm. they'll just come out. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so first of all, I have my period and my stomach is so fucking sore. I'm <laughs> so tired. When I got home yesterday, literally at like 7 o'clock, I... <laughs> We're just having a bit of complaining each. So my stomach was so sore. I was so tired. All I wanted to do was just lie down and I ended up going to bed at 11. And I said to myself, I'd go to bed at 10, go to bed at 11. I was so disappointed in myself. Yeah. This morning I slept in late. Yeah. Then I woke up again, disappointed in myself. I feel like I'm looking forward into a very long evening. We have our event yeah. and then I'm going to this dinner and I just don't know how I'm going to keep up myself yeah, for that long. And that's kind of so. making me feel a bit like trapped and yeah. um, not free. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Good. Good job. Ah. Ah. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. I oh, feel better. Nice. That was nice. Yeah. It was we nice. Thank you for listening. Hey, I'm going to close the vlog here. I've been feeling really shit this week. I don't know why. Like, I, I don't want to make plans after work because when I make them, I'm like, oh, I just wish I was home. And then when I don't make plans after work, I'm just home. I'm like, oh, I'm such a lazy bitch. I'm not doing anything. I don't feel very fulfilled. So either I need to start going to the gym or I need to just start a good series. I think it's just the Swedish winter kicking in. Like, it gets dark at, like, 
what, four now, three. And I do remember this happened last year, so yeah, I think it's just the seasonal shit, you know? My hair's nuts. I'm gonna wear my hair curly tomorrow, so I'm trying to like style it a bit. Um, but anyway, yeah, thanks for watching the vlog. It was a short one. I think the next video I'm gonna do is like a sit down chat, you know? Cause I'm not doing much after work these days, so yeah. But anyway, Nice that I ended it on a very negative note. Hope you enjoyed that. I actually had an amazing time in Copenhagen. It was really fun. And I think I'm actually going back next week for work. So I'll probably vlog that. Anyway, hey do. Thanks for watching.